All right, Lego, you wanted this? No. So, uh, I was streaming yesterday for like five hours, and then in this stream, towards the end, I got super excited because I got a nice box in the mail. And uh, in this box came my new Razor Chroma, Razor Black Widow Chroma. Man, these names get weirder because some of them are just odd. And for you, those of you who don't know and might have noticed in my other videos, I've been using a Razor Black Widow Ultimate for like two years, and you might notice it's set up at my main machine. I'll get to that in a second. And that's just kind of what it looks like. I got my macro keys set. Um, I like it how it is. I've been using it for a long time. It's truly the same keyboard as uh, the Razer Chroma, uh, the Razer Black Widow Chroma. And here it is over here. I have it set up, just kind of pulsing. My phone camera will not do it justice, but I wanted to record this while the sun was still rising because soon I'm not going to have light. That is a reflection of a lamp. It's not the sun. <laughs> so, to those of you who also don't know, I have a Razer Black Widow Chroma. Razer Naga Chroma. Okay, I'm not thinking about the names right now. I'm thinking about what I'm doing. And um, so I have it set up over here. So here's the only... Yes, you guys, I'm this shallow. This is the only reason I've decided not to use this at my main PC. Okay, now there are a couple of reasons. First off, when I'm at my computer... This is going to sound really lame, but that's kind of true. I'm really focused on either gaming and or working. Uh, so either I'm making videos or I'm typing to people or I'm busy doing something and I'm not looking at my keyboard, which is why for so long just a blue backlit is fine. At nighttime, it helps me see my keys. That is a legitimate function that I do value. And that's kind of it. It's arbitrary what color it is. This could be just about any color. It'd be nice if I could change it. Um, which kind of comes in with the other keyboard, but there's one key thing you might not notice. So this sounds normal. I like that. And I have no idea if my phone camera or my phone sound is going to be able to pick this up, but I'll try. Okay, even that was subtle for me, because especially the wood background kind of soaks up most of it, but there's a very slight echo. I don't know if it's because it's more sort of metallic, the RGB under here, maybe, I'm not sure what's under there exactly, but there's this echo that is maybe nothing to you guys, but I can hear it every single time I type and it drives me crazy. Note, I have only used this keyboard for like five minutes and already I was like, nope, <laughs> that is gonna drive me crazy. So let me um, backtrack a little bit as to why I'm coming over here. To those of you who also don't know, after the PC upgrade, if you guys haven't seen those videos, you should totally check them out. 3G system only needs RAM. We got Windows on it. It is good to go. RAM should be here today, actually, or tomorrow if they're really late. But my system's set up. 7700K, 1060's in there. Everything's running. Um, it's actually sideways down there because I'm obviously installing the keyboard and you can't even see that. So my old system, I just retired it and put it over here. And put in my old Wi-Fi adapter because I've got Ethernet over there and it just runs as a second system so this is kind of my home theater PC and I was using a crappy keyboard that I think I stuffed under here yeah this thing plugs in via USB it's wireless it's old thankfully for the camera quality you cannot see not how dirty it is but like the wrist rest if you can call it that because it just comes down like um, is, is pretty bad and you might notice this angle would break my hand after a little while and I used to play like that I actually also mentioned this in the stream that I play with a cutoff pool noodle so yeah on my desk I wrapped it in a, t in a sheet just because it's in a uh, washcloth because it just keeps it much nicer on my hand and uh, that's a bleach stain by the way and it's really just a cutoff pool noodle you guys can buy this anywhere I put it, I fold it over like this, and this is after a long time using this. And if I get it just right, my keyboard actually comes down here and keeps it in place. And it's a super easy do DIY. You can make it as long as you want, as short as you want. It's a pool noodle, guys. I cut it with a knife. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, honestly, like after eight to ten hours, maybe one of my wrists would hurting. It's not my left one. <laughs> It's it's awesome. I also have the oh I should stop moving. I also have the razor. Yeah, you're seeing a trend here. The razor Vespula and this uh, gel pad. Highly recommended. You can even flip this over for 
a smoother background. I never used that because I gotten too used to the rough background and I will never go back to soft mouse pads again. Provided, of course, that I have a super casual station. I found this one. So Apple has this awesome feature where they will automatically install the updates you totally want to download. Huh. And uh, so to clear up space to record this video, that's why there's a cut, I just uh, cleared up a 1.3 gigabyte update that I don't plan to use. Yes, I'm still on iOS 9 and I wish I was on 6. So we just found this. It's an extra mouse pad. And um, yeah, so that's is kind of buying a $143 keyboard that I don't need. And this was really a want thing. I, I like it. I love this thing, even though it's over here. Like, I'll probably be able to enjoy it more out here anyway, just because while I'm watching movies or whatever, I was thinking about putting this just on the spectrum cycle to match up with the mouse, and I think that would look really cool. And that's the other reason I moved it over here is because this mouse is super overkill for Minecraft. I got it to use on Minecraft because that was my main game, but I don't ever intend to use this. You might have noticed my Steel Series rival. Highly recommend that. In fact, Lemon recommended that to me, and I recommend it to you guys. It's, it was like 40 bucks for me to get it. It's a super cheap mouse with a couple macro keys. Well, three macro keys. And uh, you can change the DPI. There's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of RGB on the on the back logo, kind of like this, but there aren't 12 buttons on the side. <laughs> I mean, you just saw it. So one of the things I wanted to show off was, and this is the big thing Lego is asking for. I hope if you've watched this whole time, I apologize. I just wanted to keep talking, but uh, I don't have the Chroma app. Okay, I downloaded like a sound amplifier thing, and it did, it looked crappy. I didn't like it. So let's go to setting. Uh, I still new to this thing. Lighting. All right. So I don't know if I can set my custom one. If it saves on the keyboard, then I totally can because I did something I think that's pretty cool. All right. I'm going to set this up again and then show you guys. Actually, no, I should be able to do it on camera. Yeah. So if I just check all the keys and then I pick some kind of background color, I should be able to just apply this. So now it's nothing. Turn that on, apply. All right, so now I've got a backlit keyboard. And that's this is how the software works. I don't think I was showing the screen. I am sorry, guys. And so now I've got a static color that I've set to the back of my keyboard. Now, I love how intuitive this is, guys. My experience is still speaking to this. I used this program for maybe like two minutes right before I went to bed, and it was this easy to use. So if I pick the ripple, uh, I, can, I can select all keys. Let's make it pink, because that's what it was already set, so it looks like it's saving my settings. I know the color isn't uh, quite showing up, but that's pink, I assure you. Let's just apply that to the keyboard, and uh, I think we can already test it out. So now it's just gonna ripple pink. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And that's all you have to do. Honestly, I thought I had to download something because when I got this keyboard, I really thought the ripple was awesome, and I told him, hey man, I've got a cyan keyboard and I ripple pink every time I type. And that's kind of what it is. And like I said earlier about the productivity thing, that is super distracting to me when I'm typing. The keyboard is now a mix of cyan and pink while I'm typing, and it kind of gives me a mini seizure. I'm not epileptic, but I mean, it, it freaks me out a little bit. So when I just want to type back to somebody in the comments, or if I have to write a paragraph or something, I don't want that going on. But if I'm typing in a movie title, then it's totally cool. And, um, yeah, so that's the only thing I need to do for the configuration. Otherwise, everything you'd want to do is default, for me at least. The breathing just kind of turns it off, and then turns it on, and then, and then turns it off. It's really, I think it's boring. Uh, let's do reactive. Oh, this one's cool. My sister liked this. You can type on the keyboard, and then they'll fade away. And I now realize that people might have clicked on this as a Black Widow review. There you go. So... I think I'm doing it justice. Let's do spectrum cycling is the one I plan to leave it on. I'm fairly sure this auto syncs with my mouse. Um, it appears to be. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. It seems to... I think the mouse is a little bit ahead, to be completely honest. Obviously, the color scale on this iPhone camera is just not doing it justice, you guys. But, I don't know, it looks cool. They're both yellow. And this is what I'll probably leave it as, just as the default. Every time I look at my keyboard, it'll be a different color. It's a nice, soft nightlight, if you will. I can even turn on the lava lamp if I want to match. Um, what else? Let's go through the rest of these. Uh, static, just picks a color. That's what I already demonstrated earlier. Uh, wave, this is what I had it set at the beginning of the video. Super trippy. This is one of my other favorites. Uh, I've noticed with my family, we kind of agree that it looks like the keys were changing shape and sizes and distorting. 
once again, that makes it such a bitch to type on. But like, if you want to leave your computer and just have it running in the background or whatever, this is an awesome option. And... Yeah, Ripple just kind of does what I Oh, so here's the thing I wanted to change and why I was so excited about what I just showed. This is the default. It's just a completely off and then it, it ripples like this. And I'm like, ah, I don't like it being off because like I mentioned earlier as well, I uh, I very do much value that uh, option. I do I very do much value the backlit during nighttime. So if you have any color, this can be of course any color and then you can just make it ripple. And that just about covers it. I hope you enjoyed uh, anybody who found any, any any of this useful and made this for my friend Lego because he wanted to see my background. I really do wish I had a better camera, but I work with the equipment I have available. So there you go. There's my new Black Widow keyboard that came during the stream. If you want to check out the stream, I should link it this in the description. It was super good. I rare, I don't usually go five hours unless we're having a good time. So that was an awesome stream. I'm going to be completely content using my old keyboard. I'm not a super sentimental person, but... This thing, it's just, it's done so much for me. I don't know how many key presses I have on it. Maybe I can look up the stats mid-flight here. I usually disable it so these aren't going to be 100% 100 uh, 100 accurate. Oh, there you go. Zero keystrokes, zero, zero, zero. <laughs> oh, showing today. All right, all time. Um, Is this still going to be zero? Data tracking disabled. Yeah. I do that just so it doesn't run in the background because part of me doesn't really want to know how many I had. Okay, I'm guessing it's probably a few hundred thousand doing million or something, but there you go. I'm going to use my old keyboard just because I prefer it. It's less distracting. It does everything I need it to. Macro keys are nice. Um, like, it only has five, you guys, but this does everything I need it to. If I really wanted to, I could start redoing function keys, and most of these are function keys anyway. If you're curious, this is F8. I use that to mute myself in Discord, which is very convenient. You can see that might turn on and off as I click this. When I'm recording, just to be able to smack a button, uh, hit that, and then start recording. This is F7, by the way. That starts and stops my recordings. Um, M5, this one just uh, F12. So this just full screens and then unfull screens. I use this actually for Minecraft. So you can see it on the screen now. Just goes full screen, goes out of full screen. And if I actually exit that, my other function key is F3. Yeah, I have a whole function key just for F3. So there you go. Basically, muting myself on Discord. This is copy-paste. This is just copy name. I use this because I rename files more than you might think. So to just copy the folder name and then replace one of them and taking screenshots. <laughs> okay, that must have been... Oh yeah, F2 is actually rename on Windows. And then it just hits Control-C at the same time. And then there you go, F3. And then this is start-stop recording, which F7 doesn't do anything else on my keyboard that I know of and exiting full screen. Alright, there's a full review of my keyboards and stuff. The mouse, I mean, simple macros. You can use SteelSeries Engine 3. Comes not with the mouse, but you can download it for it. Super easy. Razor Vespula mouse pads, highly recommended. The Chroma. Obviously, I can fix the distracting part. I can just set it to, like, a, a, just a static color or something. But that Echo... I don't know, it's just like a metallic ringing every time I type and it drives me nuts. But I'm going to enjoy it out here anyway because out here I can just sit back, watch a movie or, or random YouTube videos and appreciate the colors. And then over there is when I can actually get some work done. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, there you go, Lego and whoever might be benefiting from this. And uh, thanks for watching.